have to confess. I don't have an option. I'll be caught. He has figured it out. I don't have any other way except to seek mercy. You? What are you doing here? And how did you find my house? Can we talk? What do you have to say? May I come in? Please. Come. Say what you want to say. Confess. I killed my husband. Haley. She was an aspiring actress. Auditioning, doing small roles, modeling, trying to build a career for herself. One night, Haley got invited to a Hollywood party. She was doing small roles in big films and big roles in small films and hadn't reached the peak in her field. But everybody noticed her that night. Most importantly, the famous singer, Adam Williams. That was the beginning of their relationship. It wasn't before long that Haley had become a sensation, being Adam's girlfriend. But it all came with a catch. Adam led a wild life. He was psychotic, taking substance, losing his senses in intoxication. Adam, what are you doing? Come on, baby, have some with me. Adam, stop, you're not in your senses. Come on, baby, a little bit won't hurt. No. But it wasn't only that Adam had no control over his addiction, but he was unfaithful. He had no control over his lust. It didn't take long for Haley to realize her mistake. I can't do this anymore. This is too crazy. I can't be part of this. Life was out of control with Adam and Haley had enough. Adam, I can't do this anymore. I can't go on like this. But when Haley confronted Adam, he broke down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I don't know what I was doing. Believe me, I love you. I can't live without you. No, Adam, you have no control over yourself. Control over yourself. I can't do this. No, baby, I'll fix everything. I'll change. I want to marry you. When Adam apologized and proposed to her, Haley gave him another chance and accepted. But after the marriage, things only got worse. Haley was planning to get a divorce. But it was in all this one night, Adam died from a drug overdose. And that's when Richard, investigating forensic officer from the narcotics department, came into the picture. He has been taking this drug forever, 
There was no way he could have made a mistake. Richard suspected something wasn't right from the very beginning. And he took in Haley for questioning. What happened last night? After we got into a relationship, I slowly began to realize Adam's obsession. I tried to get him out of it, but he never listened. He used to tell me to prepare his stash. I never wanted to do it, but he didn't leave me with a choice. When he told you to prepare the stash, where did you put it? How much did you put? I did exactly what he told me, and I put it in the same place I always put it. As Officer Richard left with a smirk on his face, Haley realized it was me. I was the one who put it. He died because of me. When Haley realized it all happened because of her, and Officer Richard knew for a certainty, she didn't see any way out for herself. She had to confess. He told me to put the stash. He told me to dilute it and I didn't. It was a mistake. Even though I didn't intend, I kept it there and he took it and died. So now, why are you here? Why are you confessing to me? What do you want from me? Look, I suffered enough with him and now I don't want to suffer the rest of my life. And now I don't want to suffer the rest of my life in jail because of this crazy maniac. What are you willing to pay? Anything. I don't want to go to jail. Anything? What do you want? What does any man want? Looking at Richard, Haley realized what he wanted. After being with that animal, being with him wouldn't be any more degrading. So she agreed. All right. And you won't go back on your word. You have my word. Come with me. And when Haley kept her word, Officer Richard did what she wanted. He reported the incident as an accidental death, and Haley was innocent. Haley was discharged of all Adam's wealth and property, and got back to her life. But although she thought what happened with Richard would be a temporary thing, it didn't stop. Richard kept coming back to her over and over again. So one day, Haley spoke up. Why do you keep coming back to me? Are you only going to use me like this? Are we going to be like this forever? You know something? I think I've grown feelings for you. What happened wasn't your fault. Richard confessed his feelings for Haley. And after everything they had been through, Haley too reciprocated. And they got married. After the marriage, Richard moved to the mansion and began working from home in his own laboratory. Richard, you're still working? Yeah, just give me a moment. You can finish this later. First have your dinner. Everything was going fine, and life was finally settling down. Richard, how about we go out for dinner tonight? Sure, I'll get ready.
Richard? Richard, hold on. I'll call an ambulance. Everything's gonna be all right. He's been diagnosed with mercury poisoning. The toxins have spread through his blood. It's entered his brain. The amount of mercury was so high that it has heavily damaged his brain. I'm sorry, he won't make it. Hearing the doctor, Haley broke down. Why? Why does this have to happen with me? thought you can use me, and you'll get away with it? Never. Haley, she was a beautiful, aspiring actress, and she always had only one ambition in life, to become rich, famous, and successful. And that night at the party, when Adam noticed her, Haley saw her perfect opportunity. Haley planned to use Adam as her ladder into the industry. If she is his girlfriend, the media would pay attention to her. She could make appearance at his concerts. Paparazzis would be after her. And before she knew it, she would be famous. All was fine. But soon after dating Adam, Haley realized how psychotic he was. And he couldn't waste her life on him. But when he tried to break up with him, Adam proposed marriage to her instead. If she divorced him, she would get half of his wealth and property so it was a win-win situation for her. But after marriage, she realized. Why should I settle for half when I can take the whole of it? So Haley planned to finish Adam for good. She was the one who would prepare his stash, so she began giving him larger doses. And one day, she didn't dilute it at all. Haley thought the slow poisoning wouldn't bring the suspicion on her. But Officer Richard was much smarter than that and saw right through her. So Haley did what she had to do. After all, she was an actress. She went to him, confessed an unintentional murder, and became his damsel in distress. When Richard offered her a deal, she sold herself thinking it was a small price to pay for all of Adam's wealth and property. But then, when Richard began blackmailing her, and she had no choice but to give in, she couldn't take it. So to escape this misery, Haley manipulated him into marriage. After Richard moved into the mansion with her, Haley was simply waiting for the right opportunity and way to get rid of him from her life. And it was one day in the laboratory she got the perfect idea. What is this? It's mercury. Be careful. Don't touch it. Even if a single drop gets on you, it will spread through your blood and eventually kill you. Nice. 
It was Haley who pricked a small hole in Richard's glove. And as Richard had warned, when the mercury came into contact with him, it took its effect and finished Richard. Rest in peace. After Richard's death, Haley was free as can ever be. She got back to her life, partying, having fun, dating young men. So where are we going tonight? How about my place? Ken, I'm not feeling well. Haley? Haley? Call 911. I'm sorry, Mrs. Ray. You've been diagnosed with the same poisoning as your late husband. However, the poisoning isn't to the extent that Richard suffered. Mercury in your blood has spread over time. It will slowly continue. You have roughly six months. Unfortunately, there is no cure and eventually it will damage your brain so much that it will be the end of your life. You will lose your senses, your memory. You'll become bedbound until it kills you. Haley finally had everything. She got rid of Adam. She got famous and rich. She got rid of Richard and there was no one to blackmail her. But Richard was neither gullible nor a saint. Richard didn't save Haley because he thought Haley was innocent. Richard didn't believe Haley was innocent for a single moment. Richard saw Haley as his prize. Why just use her when I can own her? When Haley tried to manipulate him into marriage, Richard saw his benefits and quickly took the opportunity. All this time, he had been slow poisoning her. Waiting for the day he'd take over. But rarely do things go as planned. Richard even in his death, got even with Haley. Click on the subscribe button and check out more awesome videos on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon because you know it's interesting.